Hey guys, thanks for tuning in, and happy Monday! Unless you're not watching this on Monday. In which case, happy day! We're trying something new this week, so let's dive right into God's Word. And if you want to open your Bibles, we'll be specifically looking at Romans chapter 1, verse 17. Now, Romans is in the New Testament, and although we call it a book now, it was actually originally written as a letter, a really long letter, by a guy named Paul. And he's actually pretty cool. You should probably look him up sometime. So, who was he talking to? Exactly, the Romans, or more specifically, the godly people in Rome, the church. And in the letter to the Romans, he wrote, It is written, the righteous will live by faith. Hmm. Okay. Let's break this down. So, it is written by who? To whom? Well, as a matter of fact, it was written in the book of Habakkuk by a prophet named, well, you guessed it, Habakkuk. By the way, if you have more than three K's in your first name, you win. Yay! But anyway, back to business. So, it is written, the righteous will live by faith. Now, righteous is a word that you'll find many times in the Bible, and you'll hear it a lot at church, too. But what is righteousness, you ask? Well, buckle up, because we're about to get into some heavy-duty affix analysis, which is really just a fancy way to say we're going to cut the word in half and see what it means. See, English is an interesting language. We can take the word righteous, and we can put it on a piece of paper, and then we can cut it almost right down the middle. And now we have two pieces. The first one is a real word, the word right. But the second one is not a word, E-O-U-S. But it does have a meaning. Now let's go to the word right. That one's easy. Right means not wrong. But in this case, Paul means something very specific when he talks about righteous. He means being right in God's eyes. Now, for the E-O-U-S, which is a suffix, which is something that goes at the end of a word to give it meaning. And in this case, it means is. It basically says how something or someone is. So when you put E-O-U-S at the end of right, it means someone that is right. Someone who is right in God's eyes. All right, now we're getting somewhere. So... It is written in... Um, um, uh, no. In H-A-B-A... No. There we go. It is written in Habakkuk. The righteous will live by faith. But what is faith? Well, faith is basically believing in something that we can't see. Well, that's incredibly interesting, you say, but what's a good explanation without an example? Lucky for you, I love examples. Picture a school bus. Uh, okay, um, I was thinking a little bigger. Let's zoom in a little bit. All right, perfect. So imagine the bus has stopped at a bus stop, and the weather's beautiful outside, so obviously it's time to open the window. Now, what are you going to see? Of course, a walrus, obviously. Now, what does the walrus have? Again, pretty obvious, a donut. So what happens when that walrus drops the donut out the bus window? Well, it's pretty simple. You know instantly, you don't even really have to think about it. Even with an example as silly as a walrus and a school bus with a donut, 
you know that when he sticks his little flipper out there with that donut and drops it, it's going to go straight to the ground. But how do you know? Have you seen a walrus drop a donut before? I doubt it. And if you haven't seen a walrus drop a donut out of a school bus window, then how do you know that it won't just float up into the air like a helium balloon? Simply put, we believe the donut will hit the ground because we believe in gravity. We have faith in a force that pulls everything toward the earth. We can't see gravity, but we can see the effects of it all around us. Just like the leaves falling from a tree or the rain falling from a cloud. We don't have to be able to see gravity to know that it's there. And God is really the same way. We've never seen God. If I asked you to draw a picture of him, you wouldn't know exactly what he looks like, but you see the effects of God in your life every day. Here's a question to think about. What has God done in your life to let you know that he's there? So now we have it. It is written, the righteous will live by faith. So it's written in Habakkuk that the people that do right by God will live their lives by believing in him even when they can't see him. Now, memorizing Romans 1.17 is your job this week. When you memorize the word of God, you're writing it on your heart. And once you have the verse memorized, get a video of yourself saying it and send it in. You might even get featured on one of our Wednesday night broadcasts. Keep it simple, if you want. Or maybe you're feeling a little more on the dramatic side. Personally, I've always loved a good musical number, but it's up to you. And last but not least, today is the last day to send in your winning paper airplane video. So don't forget, I can't wait to see the cool designs you guys came up with. Well, until next time, bye!